What's up, fuckers? It's tea time. Today we have unnutritional yeast. <laughs> Miss Marjaseel Taylor Green. <laughs> She's here all the way from the bottom of Camp Crystal Lake, so let's give her and her amber waves of yeasty grain a welcome as big as her nose. Or let's don't and say we did. And if anyone questions us, we'll just say we don't recall. It worked for memory-free Marjorie. Turns out a foam mattress has a better memory than she does. She felt she was a victim, being silenced because her eligibility for re-election was being questioned after she helped inside a deadly insurrection. But it turns out she's just the victim of an ugly stick beating because the judge ruled she can stay on the ballot and she even won the Republican primary with about 70% of the votes. <laughs> The candida may stay in Congress and leave another mark on this country. The mark of the yeast beast. <laughs> she just keeps coming back like Jason Voorhees. <laughs> and her forked tongue is her petty machete. I guess we aren't done seeing those sponge-sized pores and that jaundice-colored smile just yet. <laughs> Not even Budweiser goggles could make her easy on the eyes. Crowded features and a low-maintenance skincare routine will do that to you. She's got the skin of a jack-o'-lantern on the 8th of November, which is a great day to go vote for someone who went in hollow behind the eyes, like Marcus Flowers in Georgia. Until then, the lumbering cringe compilation continues, and boy, does it reek of overcompensation, Marlboro lights, and clinical strength deodorant. She smells like a wet dog, which is fitting for someone who ages in dog years. Time flies, and a lot has since we last checked in on Marlboro Marjorie and her Neolithic nonsense. You know, nonsense like Jewish space lasers setting California on fire. Nancy Pelosi's vegetable-based Nazi police at the Capitol. Satanic baby-eating rituals in a pizzeria basement on Connecticut Avenue. Satan controlling the Catholic Church. Satan selling husbands in exchange for abortions. Satan controlling Christians who help undocumented migrants. <laughs> Sounds like somebody wants to gag on Satan's meat. <laughs> Not only because she's a shameless, impudent, morally unrestrained, adulterous troglodyte, but also because Satan's red meat wasn't made in a peach tree dish. Marjorie Morningstar's latest and greatest is that the government wants to track when you eat cheeseburgers because they want you to eat fake meat made by Bill Gates in, again, a peach tree dish. <laughs> Who needs laboratory glassware when you can use fruit-themed glazed porcelain dishes? <laughs> she also says the government wants to zap your body to encourage you to eat plant-based meats, as well as track the consistency of your bowel movements. I think the government has more important things to do than worry about when I leave a muddy Marjorie in the commode. More important things like the baby formula shortage that she was quite vocal about when she was dressed like an atomic moss green couch from the 70s. Although I think Marjorie's in retrograde because she was one of nine Republicans who voted against the Access to Baby Formula Act. The bill that would allow low-income women to buy more baby formula through the WIC program. But Marjorie's never been one to support solutions to real issues, but at least she's consistent, like my bowel movements. Speaking of, it's time for me to drop a muddy marge. I want everybody to have a great fucking day unless you're a constipated Christian from Camp Crystal Lake.